I don't even know what day it is, but I guess it don't matter. I can safely call this place home now, utilizing everything Papa taught me about survival. Upgrade after upgrade, things are getting easier. I'm starting to get a foothold in this apocalyptic, stricken land. I think this is just what I needed. I'm starting to find out who I am as a person. What I'm really made of. I feel like nothing can stop me. And this time, I really believe that. It's time to conquer the day. Again. In hopes that maybe one day, I'll find my way back to a big bowl of Chipotle. What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Matt Vlad is the name. And the infected is the game. In today's episode, we're pushing on with this amazing series on Infected. Now, I played a lot of this offline, and boy, oh boy, let me tell you, this game is a lot deeper than I ever could have imagined. This game is possibly, quite possibly, the most addictive building game ever made. Let me explain. Throughout the previous episodes, you know how we always do. We build a little hut, and then we, you know, we build everything, and then, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then we usually cap out, we hit a wall, and then we're done. This game makes it so addictive to harvest minerals, rocks, trees, that it drives me insane in a good way. I played this all day yesterday, while simultaneously juggling buying a home, which did not go as planned. And I found out a lot about this game. Oh, great. Another thing I want to kind of demonstrate to you guys is something that I didn't know was possible. Remember the samurai sword? You can slash, but you can also stab, which makes it just as effective, if not more effective, than the spear. And the only difference is you can throw the spear. You can't really throw it. Well, you can throw a samurai sword, but you can't do it in the game. And that damn sheep is pissing me off. I'm gonna hang you up. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you were faster! But, anyway, I have a lot of explaining to do. This, my friends, is called a water house. Thought you could build it and maybe it's like a well or something like that. But no! You need to power it in order for it to pump water. Let me show you over here. Pump water to this sink. Clean water. An infinite amount of clean water, right? Now, looking over here, I didn't know this was a thing. We have mineral extractors. And if we look at the map, each one of these sites has a different mineral that you can extract. And the way you tell what mineral it is, is you go over there with your pickaxe and you smack some rocks. And whatever comes out of those rocks is what that zone is capable of producing if you put a mineral extractor there. Now, in order to run these mineral extractors, you need oil. And we found some oil on our journeys throughout the towns. And I was like, okay, cool. So we, if we need oil, we just go to the towns, pick up oil, and that's it. Found out that was not the case. I built a clay soil extractor, burned through my oil like it wasn't nothing, and then I stood here stuck like, what the hell do we do now? Going through the menu, I found that you can build an oil extractor. You see what I mean by addictive here? The only problem with that is if you read down in the red text, it says TECH NOT OBTAINED. Which means we missed a book somewhere in the town, which we are going to have to find in this episode. Another thing, we're going to have to build an upgraded backpack, and in order to do that, we have to hunt down the Nile Crocodile. Still haven't discovered those yet, but I got a pretty good idea as to where they are. It's pretty obvious that they're right here in this swamp-like area in the center of the map. I don't know that to be 100% true, but that's my guess. I don't like hunting for information on the internet. I like teaching myself and learning from you guys. It makes the interaction a whole lot better. It's kind of like with my YouTube channel, how nobody taught me anything and I did all my research myself. I learned everything by myself. No shout outs, no teachers, nothing. 
I'm a sole survivor. And even though sometimes it pains people that I do stupid things, the only way to learn smart things is to do stupid things. So I must be a genius, except for the holy knowledge, the sacred knowledge that Papa taught me. Shut up! Don't even ask, because I'm not telling. I also experimented a little bit with turning the zombies off. What that did was, right, it, all the zombies disappeared off the map, but the hordes still came, which was pretty cool. I was like, awesome. The only thing I didn't like was that the towns were empty. I kind of like a little hint of danger in the towns. What I don't like is the occasional zombie just running up and me stabbing them to death over and over and over. It's a bit repetitive. It's a bit boring. I wish there was a way to turn off wandering zombies, leave on the town zombies and the hordes. That would be awesome. But even with the zombies off, I was getting attacked by bears, wolves, foxes. It still sucked. But at least when you kill an animal, you get meat. Now, the core function of this game is there. It is so there. The building is, like I said, probably the best design I've seen to date in a small time survival game. This game has the potential to be something fantastic. The only shortcomings that it has is the zombies, the models, their attack function, the way the hordes work. If they could fix those, which is possible, the game's not ruined, this could be possibly one of the best zombie survival games ever. The building, once you get up to speed with this, is the, the there's no limits. The possibilities are endless. You can go mental in the building with this game. And with that being said, it's time to journey on. Let's check our stats. Yeah, we're a little hungry. Let's drink some before we head out. We're also going to need, I think the, the primary element that we need is, is aluminum. I found out where the aluminum is. It's right here on the map. I started going to all these zones and picking up all the rocks, and I found that aluminum is where this is. I have an extractor there, but they're a bit pricey to build. And finding aluminum, just finding aluminum, is a mother flanacker. So, but once we get that extractor built, it's all downhill from there. This game challenges you in the beginning. And like I said, once you get a foothold on the game, possibilities are endless. This is a great game. So much better than I thought it was could ever be. We're going to need aluminum for the big drinking container as well. This is going to be a fun-filled episode. I think first things first... We're going to need to gather some gator skin, but I want to make sure that I eat and get my stats up before we go. Okay, we got our thirst all the way up, and we're going to take some water with us as well. We're also going to go ahead and hang up this meat to dry. We're going to take a little bit of meat with us. Let's see how much protein this gives us. These are dried pieces of meat. Eh, that's a little disappointing. So our fats and vitamins. Man, there are so many stats on this. I think they need to simplify that as well. That's a bit out of control. It is very survivalish, but a bit annoying. Take out the damn vitamins part. Oh God, and protein hits our thirst. Look, I get that, but come on, man. We don't have any carbs. We'll have to find them on the way. Thank you guys for all the hints down in the comment section as well. I think I already stated that. Oh God. You know you're in deep shit. <laughs> oh, she still hits me. Still hits me and infects me while I'm stabbing her in the neck. I don't think I have any medicated bandages, so yippee ki -yay. There we go. You see what I mean? By the function of the zombies, it's a bit jank. Oh, we don't need medicated. And I don't think we have any regular bandages. What I do think we have... Yes, we do. Okay. The health goes down a bit fast. Goes down a bit fast. They just need to tweak some things. That's it. This game could be a potential winner. Just tweak some stuff. That's it. Ah, there's a... Damn, we got three first aids. Okay. I guess that's all we're going to take. It is raining. Great. A lot of people tell me to harvest the vampies. I don't want to. Shut up. We've put a rock or a stone crate on our cart. We're going to be taking our cart everywhere we go so that we can carry more resources. This thing is a beast. It doesn't glitch out. You can take it in the house. You can put it upstairs. This thing will go anywhere, and I love it. I have to look out for watermelons on the way. We need to plant a garden. We need to get a garden system going for sure. It's going to be a glorious watermelon garden. But I love this game so far. After playing it yesterday and figuring everything out. Well, almost everything out. I love it. This game is a complete beast. 
and I'm addicted. Let's hope we don't die somewhere, because then we'll have to go fetch our cart. And I don't think this thing leaves an indicator as to where you left it. So if we stack this thing full of goodies, we're pretty screwed. Actually, I think I should have put crates on this, to be honest. Yeah, instead of this rock box. I don't think you can put anything other than rocks in it. So we might leave it behind. I don't know. We're going to have to experiment with that. Yeah, I think you're supposed to put chests on this thing. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. We're going to leave it behind for now because we're going after alligators. This, I, I got a little confused. It's the first time I've ever taken it out. But yeah, I think you put a chest on there. You can put a chest on here and uh, then you can really take anything you want back home. Just drop her off right there. All right. Let's keep an eye out for food. Oh. Yeah, we've definitely made it. This is a swamp for sure. Okay, we are getting dangerously low on our health, and I haven't found a single mail melon or corn or anything. Melon. <laughs> so I'm going to look around here before I enter the swamps. we got to find us some carbohydrates. Right now, we're on a keto diet. And it's killing me. At least that's realistic. We are going to die. I do have a med kit that will prolong my chances, but I still want to find something to eat. They either need to do one of two things. Put more damn food on the map or slow down the damage you take. It's a bit excessive. There is nothing out here. I got a bad feeling that I'm going to run into a damn gator. Well, let's take a first aid. Yeah, that was the only one we had. I thought we had three, but we don't. <laughs> the numbers are a bit confusing in the boxes, too. I need to rework those a little bit. I sound like I'm complaining a lot, but I'm really not. I just want this game to succeed. That was a fox, and I cannot fuck with a fox right now. Ah! Please be a what? Yes! Okay. Harvest. Mmm. Ah! Oh. <laughs> My energy's really low. I don't know how it got so damn low. How, how do you get that up other than sleeping? There's got to be a way. All right, man. See what these gators are all about. I haven't seen one anywhere. Is this? Oh, this is shallow water. Okay. Oh, it is a swamp. Mr. Gator, bring me a dream. I want your back fat so I can make a backpack. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, they're huge. Shut up! Oh, yeah. One's coming this way. I am terrified right now. I am absolutely terrified. Let's look around, make sure one doesn't sneak up behind us and bite our ass cheek. Oh, you're scary. Holy hell, they're scary. And they're pretty damn fast. Wow. Wow, they're scary. See what happens. Come on, bite me. Oh, God. This fucking sucks. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. We're gonna need a uh, bow and arrow, uh, possibly a bazooka. Uh, let's get on that. All right, there's three rope. Here's a stick, workbench, craft a bow. We can't craft it. We got too much stuff in our inventory. What are we putting on the weapons rack? I guess the axe. There we go. We have us a bow. Now we need arrows. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Upon building arrows, there's a horde coming, and uh, I want to test out this new fighting ability they have our gates are closed so let's see what happens yep the sky is red all right kind of looks like a pretty sunset i think that's how they actually set it they just put it to sunset mode <laughs> it's actually nighttime all right let's see if my traps hold up oh here comes one <laughs> they're coming direct oh there's two. Oh, oh i'll see if i can attack them through there I can. Yeah. See? Okay, they're running away now. Please get caught in that trap. Oh, you dirty bitch. Oh, he hit me. And there's a fucking bear. Oh my god, this is a little hard. Okay. 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 
<laughs> there, I don't think... Oh, yep, they ran away too. Hey, little bitch. Yeah, you like the samurai sword? <sighs> okay, so I can see... I can see how this is going to get difficult. For sure. Man, I wish the bears attacked them. That'd be great. Okay, so they're running away now. I don't know if that's the new... Oh, you fucking bitch. Ah, takes up a lot of resources. Oh, oh, and we died. <laughs> you see, that's a little annoying. The health goes down way too fast, man. Ah, but, but that was interesting. So, man, back to building arrows. All right, it is the next day. We are harvesting feathers to build arrows. I'm going to build bone arrows. That way I can retrieve them all. That way we don't have to worry about them breaking. And I want to test face-to-face -face this new fighting system without having a fence in between me. So let's see what he does. I know he's going to throw his stupid knife. Yeah, that was your... Oh. Well, that was cool. <laughs> Back to feather hunting. All right. We are full stats. Like, I mean, full stats for once. Check that out. Well, almost full. Shut the hell up. Why are you always contradicting me? I think that's the word. Anyway, spent all day yesterday building arrows. And we now have 30 bone arrows and three stone arrows. So we've got 33 arrows. Let's hope this does the job. My bow's got plenty of health. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. Or my biggest concern is uh, where I think we're going to need more than two crocodiles. That's the only bad thing. So I don't know if they spawn back. I don't know how this is going to work. Might have to go back every single day until we have enough hide to build this backpack. But once we can build this backpack, our weight limit increases dramatically and so does our storage space. And then the next order of business is going town to town looking for that damn tech. And then we're going to build a garden. I don't know if we'll get to that in this episode, but... I'm having so much fun with this game, man. It's so crazy. It's been a while since I've had this much fun on a survival game. You know, I did not... Honestly, I did not expect... To even say that. I thought this was going to be like a really short series where we jump in, we survive a little bit, we kill some zombies, and that's it. But this game has encouraged me to go to the max. I want to have mineral extractors everywhere like i want to have a system going and i think somebody in the comment section also said that you can build things out of brick so you can upgrade everything to brick if that's the case we're going to be building some crazy stuff i know i'm going to get a lot of questions about my chair as well <laughs> my my new gaming chair i've had this chair for a long time extremely comfortable for a recliner not, it's not an office chair it's an actual recliner and sitting in it is just a joy. I love this thing. It's perfect. It's ergonomic. It's cushy like a recliner. It reclines like a recliner should. I put some fucking wheels on it. <laughs> I wood screwed some, uh, some wheels on the damn thing. And it's amazing. If you guys want information to that, just let me know <laughs> down in the comment section. And I'll tell you uh, how I went about doing it. I'll tell you where to get everything. This is by far probably the most comfortable thing I've ever sat in behind a desk. Pretty pretty cheap for what it is too, man. Like, you'd think it would be even $500? No. $400? No. $300? No. I sound like a commercial. I think it was under $200. Bucks. <laughs> and I've got a recliner. Pretty dope. Alright, here we are. Back in the swamp. Oh, God. Those things look like dinosaurs off in the distance. I hate it get to work. Now, we're going to have to remember or we're going to have to pay attention to, I should say, where we shoot these. I think he's already detected me. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! One. Okay, they're all going to be stuck in him, obviously. They're, they're a lot faster than I like. I don't like that they're this fast. Okay, alright, not bad. Didn't take too many shots. <laughs> they were all headshots. God, look at that thing. Oh, that is scary. Got all of our arrows back. That's fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. 
Let's go ahead and take another one out. Two, three, four, five, six, six arrows. Not bad. God, those things are huge. Look at all the meat you get. Oh, damn. He still had arrows in him. All right, we got all of our arrows back. See another one off in the distance. These things are terrifying. I hate the size of these alligators. Hate it. Yeah, you cannot fight them. Oh, God, there's two more. God, there's tons of gators. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're just, we're going to go ahead and kill them all. God, the sound they make. Yeah, they, they, I mean, I like the sound they make, but it's a little repetitive. You know what I'm saying? There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. Six. Oh, no. Oh, oh. He took seven. So they got varying health. Maybe I didn't get a headshot on one of those. I don't know. You know, you could do me a favor. Shut your mouth! <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, we need to hit these from a good distance off. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God, these are taking seven. <laughs> oh, it's scary. It's like they speed up and then they slow down. Like they try to trick you. But these things are huge. We're gonna rid this swamp of evil. How many damn croc skins does it take? Man, we got a lot of meat. Shut up! All right, we're looking for the backpack. There it is. We need eight croc skins. Okay, so we've got five. We need three more. <laughs> Math. And these, these bone arrows are OP as shit, bro. God, they're surrounding me. All right, which one do I want first? Let's hit him in his ass. Yeah! Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. God, man, this swamp is riddled. And now I am in deep shit. I am in the deepest of shit right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still in deep shit because I'm encumbered. I mean, it doesn't matter because. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, I just shit my pants. Oh my god. He was right there on us. Where'd he go? Oh god. Been a while since I've had a lightning bolt shoot out of my asshole. <gasps> Okay, we gotta drop some weight. It's all this damn meat we've got. We're, yeah, we're gonna have to drop some of this meat. Not all of it. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna need it. We might even. I should have brought my cart. Well, that wouldn't have mattered anyway. Okay. Oh god, that sucked. Let's get back to it. Where's that bastard at? Where'd you go, huh? You God, they're everywhere over here. I think we need two more. Ooh, cucumber. I'm gonna harvest you, buddy. Come this way, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what's happening? Wow, okay, so I kind of malfunctioned the shooting mechanism. That was pretty dope, though. So you can you can damn near rapid fire this. Damn it, I'm encumbered again. Eat your corn because it's delicious, and that fucked our thirst up. Fantastic. Maybe we'll have to drink some swamp water. How many more do we need? We need one more. I'm gonna drop a couple more LBs of meat. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I know that if we ever need meat, the swamp is the place to go. Is that a fucking bear in the swamp? I would love to see these animals fight each other. I think everything needs to fight everything. Wouldn't that be dope if you just walked up on a bear fighting an alligator? That would be so sick. I don't know why they don't do that in video games. Or, like, if a vampire's close, they, they need to fight each other. Like an alligator versus a vampy, that'd be awesome. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Here we go. Yeah, you can rapid fire these arrows, man. All right, we're going to be encumbered. I know it. Yep, we're encumbered. So it doesn't matter if we die or not. We've got what we came for. Oh, shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fucking dead. Going to die right now. Oh, God. Okay. That's probably the scariest thing I've ever witnessed in a video game. Being in a swamp <laughs> and you're running in slow-mo. Fuck that. Let's get the hell out of here, okay? Yeah, this is a this is a meat garden. We got tons of fat from that too. If you're having trouble finding protein, just frolic on down to the swamp. That should be a commercial. Ah, oh, water malone. We're gonna be in cut. Fuck. Let's just eat it. If you want some protein, make your way down to the swamp. Make sure you got arrows. Or you're going to get bit through your bone marrows. <laughs> and then you're going to fucking die. If you like yourself some steak. And you don't like the lake. And you don't fancy cake. Just hippity hippity hop. Down to the motherfucking swamp. <laughs> if you got yourself a boner. And you don't your... <laughs> and you do not have a donor. Beat your meat down in the swamp. Chomp, chomp, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. <laughs> now you're a Munich. You know, I think that's what they'll push for next. <laughs> Government paid surgeries. Become a Munich. If I got castrated, I'd wear my balls on my chin. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get in a fight. <laughs> Good God, that would hurt. Somebody chin check you? <laughs> home sweet home. All right. We are tired. Okay. Let's uh, build this backpack. I think we build it here. What the hell is that? That's a damn bear. Bear fucker. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay. I've got a little glitch for the bears. It's pretty easy to kill them. Just wait for them to get real close, and then you backstep, and then they go, Huh? Where'd you go? And then you step up a little bit, and he does a little gallop. And you get about right here, and you go, Ha! Oh, wait. Hold on. I gotta get closer. Ha! Bear fucker! <laughs> you must stab. You can't swing. These bears are powerful. Alright, thank you, sir. I'll take that meat. Speaking of meat... Oh, I'm encumbered again. <laughs> Let's do a slow walk back home and hang up all this meat and see what else we need. I think we need rope to build this backpack. All the meat is hung, and now it is time to build this damn backpack. Oh, that's right. We got to craft it on the damn loom. I think we got loom tech. I really hope we did. There it is. Yes! Okay, we have Loom Tech. Problem is, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Yeah, we might be able to squeeze it in right here. Ah, I don't like that. That doesn't give me the feng shui. The feng shui that I like. You know what? Let's put it there. Fuck it. All right, there we go. Let's see what we need. Two logs, two iron ingot, 20 plant fiber. I think we've got the plant fiber. We do. We need eight nails. I think I'm actually fresh out of iron ingot, too. I am fresh out of iron ingot. That's great. That's kind of a good thing because I wanted to show you guys this process. All right, so we need some firewood. Watch this. Look how look how awesomely easy this is. Is that even a word? Awesomely easy. All right, check this out. Look how easy this is. Let's go ahead and fill up with firewood. Okay, now let's go ahead and put our rock in there. Alt click. All right, let's fill up this stove and fill up that stove. Light the fires here. Light the fires there. And light the fires over there. Let's let them smelt down. Okay, let's go ahead and take these out. Add more rocks in. Do the same for all three. <laughs> See how simple and easy that is? God, that damn deer is getting on my nerves. There's the last one. Only got two rocks for that one, but who cares? This should give us enough to do, I think, a full furnace of uh, ironing. I almost want to make tutorials on this damn game. 
And you know when I make tutorials on a game, that means I like it. When I first started out, I had so many questions. Pow, 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 pow. Okay, one furnace done. Second furnace to follow. There we go. Oh, God. Come on, man. Give it up. He's going to hit my trap. Oh, yeah. He's dead. All right. And then we take what we smelted out of the rock in sets of five. And we place them in there one at a time like some baked potatoes. Oh, and we've got a wolf. Fantastic. You know, I wonder why the animals don't get hurt by my spikes. Yeah, this is going to give us an entire, entire furnace full of iron ingot. That should be enough to get the loom built. What else do we need for this thing? We need eight nails. We need to use one of those ingots for nails. And we got plenty of logs. We'll go ahead and grab those real quick. There we go. Add, add. Yeah, we only need two iron ingots, so this is going to be plenty. All right, there we go. We are smelted down. That gave us a lot of iron ingot. <laughs> We got a wolf somewhere making all kinds of noise. Let's go ahead and put two ironing it in that. Let's make some nails. Beat off some of these. Bam. I think it said 13 nails. Eight. Oh, we're good. Shazam. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's store away this iron ingot and these nails. Let's go ahead and grab all of our stuff. There we go. And let's crap this on the loom. One stack at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have an upgraded backpack. Let's give it a look. Oh my god, that's huge. Shut up! Yeah, that, hold on. We can't have bigger food storage? Get the hell out of here. Come on, man. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks so cool. Why is it camo, though? <laughs> I don't remember painting camo on it. It needs to be, I guess, black leather? Or alligator <laughs> pattern? I don't know. Yeah, so now, let's see what our uh, capacity is. Oh, yeah, 75. So we went up 25. That's great. That wolf is pissing me off. Where the hell is he? Back there howling like an idiot. Mr. Wolfman! Now, wolves are fast, bro. So, let's hope it doesn't catch us with our pants down. Okay, he's walking away. We're good. Man, I got a lot of logs here. I need to store these up. You know what would be dope? Now, I like the log holders. They're all right. But I think we need to build some kind of contraption, like some giant bucket of some sort to hold all the logs. Have a staircase going up to it and then just drop your logs down. Damn, that fucking wolf's coming back. I think that'd be dope. All right, so mission one accomplished. Now all we need to do is find that damn tech. Build us an oil refinery so we can get some oil for our rigs. Yeah, the damn wolf's coming back. Where you at, Mr. Wolfman? He's being an asshole. Uh-oh. Hello, sir. What is he doing? What is he doing? That's new, and he's running away. Hold on. That must be that new fighting system they're talking about. So, he pursued me. Hold on, man. I want to test this out. I want to see what he does. Because I've never seen him do that before. Watch this. Let's see if he does anything different. Just gonna... Oh, you little bitch. Oh! Oh, he's backing up? Oh, he's almost got us killed. And he's running away. Okay, I remember him running away before. The hell? Is he resting? He was resting. There's a water Malone. See what he does. Give him some time. Yeah, he is totally resting. Harvest that. And I died. Fantastic. Yeah, so they're doing something new. What is he doing? You doing the Dougie, sir? Why is he scared? Okay, he's in scared mode. He's in panic mode. Now he's attacking me. <laughs> Doing the Hulk smash. <sighs> ah, okay, whatever. Still needs a lot of work. I can see where they're trying to make it kind of like it's a forest cannibal, but still way off. Not bashing the game, okay? Love the game. Love the building and all that. Love the hustle. Ah, all right, so let's see if we can rig up this cart. Go ahead and put our rock storage right there. 
I want to see if we can put a crate on there. All right, here we have a crate. We're just going to build it right there in the floor. I didn't mean to do that. Eight planks. We're running low on planks, too. Okay, let's grab it. And, of course, we can put two. We can put two on this thing. We just broke the game. We legit just broke the game. That's OP, man. Hell, we could possibly put a rack on this thing. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm almost certain you could put a damn storage rack and run this thing around like an idiot. Wow. If we put, if we can put three boxes on this, I'm going to shit my pants. Now we do have, yeah, you can only, you can only put two. Okay. But still, see now we have a reason not to die. Because if we run out there with this cart, we're going to have to go fetch it. Before we could die, no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like we spawned back home with everything in our backpack. We were good. But now we have an upgraded backpack. So yeah, things are about to get crazy. Uh-oh. What happened? We glitched out the cart. Oh, oh, one of the boxes got left behind. I love that you can move stuff. Okay, there we go. Let's see how this runs. Oh, I'm carrying it behind me. No way! So, yeah. Uh, maybe we should put a storage rack on this thing. You know what? I'm not even going to do that. Let's pull out the map. This is dope. Okay, so I have thoroughly checked this place right here. I'm going to go up here and we'll thoroughly check it. Let me make sure my stats are good. And no. Water, man, dude, water has been our biggest problem. I think we've got, yeah, we've got some water malones. Let's go ahead and eat one. That should tide us over for a little bit and we'll look for more on the way. I'm going to see if it's possible. Pull out my torch at night. Nah, yeah, definitely not. Okay, we're just going to start heading that way. All right, so we made it back. Here's what I'm going to do so that I can pull out the torch. It's really dark out here. I even tried to change some of the settings so that you guys could see better at night, but kind of didn't help. I'm going to leave my card here. Pull out my torch, and we're going to look for this blueprint. We'll gather things on the way. Oh, great. We have to fight in the dark, though. The hell are you? Oh, he's being an asshole. Yeah, they, they definitely got new mechanics. Let's go in these houses. Close the damn doors. Pull out our torch. I really wish you could hit with this torch. Browse around. Oh. Grabs some of that fish oil. Kevlar. I got a feeling we're going to need that. I am literally just going to pick up everything. Going back out. This asshole is. Where you at? Where you at? There he is. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? Sir, you're starting to weird me out. Ah, he just ran up a hill that I can't access. <laughs> oh, he made a getaway jump. Okay, he's dead. Let's go ahead and pick him apart. He had nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was great. Hopefully we find a med kit in here. So, yeah, the mechanics have definitely changed. Pull out a torch. God, man, I really, really hope I find a med kit. Uh, splint. Okay. There's a splint in this game. Oh, look at this dude. Or gal. Whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> What'd you have on you? Four nails. Thank you. All right, got a med kit. Oh. Oh. I finally found it. Oh my god. I've been playing this game for about 4 hours. I got to eat. Oil extractor. We just found it. I found two other blueprints too. We are thirsty. We have nothing to boost our thirst or quench our thirst. I think there's a bear outside too. And a zomboni or a vampy or whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the game because I have been playing this game. Oh, my God, dude.
This place is swarming. I'll show you where we are, too. We, I started using this method because I kept rechecking houses and checking them again and all this. So here's what I've been doing. Every house that I check, I'll just put one of these out front. That way I know that I don't have to look through that house again. I was looking through houses like over and over and over. So then I was like, well, there's got to be a way to mark these homes. Maybe a flag or something. <laughs> and then I realized that you can just put like a big foundation. It's a lot more visible. Run up on the house. You don't have to search it. So, show you the map. We're down here. We searched this town, this town, this town. And now we're here. I found uh, a chemistry lab tech. I found the oil rig tech. And what else? I found one more. Oh, the battery tech. So I don't know if I've got them all, but we're just gonna we're gonna go with what we've got. So now it's time to go home, and I also need to explain that when you have this cart, you can't swim. At least I haven't tried it. I'm pretty sure you can't swim. Let's, there's a bear somewhere around here. Let's uh, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm gone. Oh my god. Oh man, dude. That last village was huge. Now I'm being chased. Great. Oh god. Oh fuck. Well, at least I got a free ride home. My cart was completely stacked with goodies. So I'll tell you what. Homie does not play that shit. We are back. <laughs> I'm not playing no games, bro. I'm getting home with my goodies. So let's not make the same mistake again. Let's go this way. <laughs> That's why you saved the game. I was not about to run and look. Man, this cart is camouflaged as is. I've already lost it once. It took me probably about 30 minutes to find it. This is the first episode that I've played <laughs> with my, uh, my roller recliner. Oh, look at this. Ah, but we gotta cross again. Yeah, this is this is not a good idea. Let's not do this. But yeah, first first game pl or playthrough that I've done with my roller recliner. I gotta come up with a name for that. Recliner Rolly? I don't know. I just want to Rolly, Rolly, Rolly with a recliner. I've already got a desk to pull off my pants. Oh, am I being chased? I am being chased by a fucking wolf. Saving the game because I ain't playing that shit. Okay. We got it. Uh, now we're probably going to die. Oh, thank God. Thought I lost my cart. We'll use that first. Oh, we're, we're okay. Yeah, we're good. W what we did forget to do was drink. My health was way down. Let's drink real quick. We're just going to have to drink some dirty water. Okay, not bad. Let's do it again. I'm gonna be spraying out my ass for a week. Okay, we are fully hydrated. I guess now's a good time to eat some protein. There we go, looking good. Energy's low, who cares? Just follow the river. Next time, if we get into danger, we'll just jump into the water. That is, unless there's a cliff. <laughs> I just want to roly, roly, roly in my recliner. If you try to copy me, I will pull off your pants. <laughs> Don't you dare copy my idea. I now have a proper throne fit for a king. The infected king. It's getting dark out here. I don't like it. It's misty and musty. My trouser jorts are filled with water. Oh, there's the bridge. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, so now that we've got the oil extractor, we don't have to worry about oil. Now what we need to do, this is the third thing I wanted to do in this video. I want to build the aluminum extractor at the site. God, man. I've actually been playing this for more than six hours altogether. You know, it really takes a, a, a good game to keep me interested, especially to do these 
eight hour playthroughs and smash it into a, about an hour of gameplay. There's very few games that got my interest to do that. I've actually got, well, we don't have any smelted ore. We'll have to, now that we've got the big backpack, we can carry everything we need to the site. Get that extractor built. Fill that thing full of oil. I've actually got a lot of oil in this cart that I've gathered through the towns. And then I haven't run into anything that needs cobalt yet. Pretty sure that's going to be in the future, so... We can mine copper at our base. That's what that extractor pulls. And then we're going to have to find a cobalt mining area. I got a feeling that once we start getting into the electronics, we're going to need cobalt and copper. Are you kidding me? My, my energy is draining my health. That is so stupid. And I think the only way you can gain energy is to sleep. I think it's a I think you can turn all this stuff off in the menu. I think there's some things I'm gonna nerf for next episode, because it has given me so many problems. It's been ridiculous. Alright, we're almost home. It is getting dark. I wish we could like attach a torch to this to this cart that would be cool so that we could see or at least enable us to hold a torch while we're pulling this yeah we should make it home before we die all right we made it back ladies and gentlemen that was the longest run i think i've ever done alive for sure but now we've got all the tech to get the electricity working oh okay let's pull this cart inside <laughs> I love that you can just pull it in your house. It's dope. Alright, there we go. Okay, that one's not so full. That one's pretty cram-packed. Got a lot of iron ingot. I got six cans of oil. So I'm wondering if we can build this oil refinery thing anywhere and, you know, get oil. We're going to have to experiment with this. Oil extractor. Let's put you right there. 20 screws. Six mechanical parts. We got a ton of mechanical parts. All right, mechanical parts. Let's see. Six aluminum. Damn, we need 15 aluminum ingot. Whoa. Yeah, aluminum is the hardest thing to get in this game. Six steel ingot. Wow. And 20 screws. Jeez. Ugh, this is going to be a pain. I think I've got an idea, though. Let's get the screws out of the way. Everything we can get out of the way. All right, let's see what this gives us. Wow. Okay. That gave us a lot of steel. Perfect. We might need some more lead, though. How many do we need? All right, cool. Six. And I think my dumb ass just used... Oh, one left. <laughs> what the hell? How the hell do we make screws? Oh, copper, that's right. And guess what? I don't think we have any copper so here's what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to take some of the oil from the oil can put it in here and start it we're gonna have to let that run for like five minutes to extract there's a wolf somewhere to extract one copper ore <laughs> so we gotta wait five minutes to make some damn screws gee whiz we are just kicked back lounging you know what I'm saying like man this is some boss stuff all right we got two copper and it's still running you got a lot of coil coil coal got a lot of coal I said coil <laughs> shut the fuck up. all right so let's see we gotta make gotta make some scroots I've been playing this for so long I'm sorry I had to kick back a little bit break I mean you guys don't mind do you all right, so what I'm doing is I'm stacking all the materials we're going to need to build the mineral extractor at the aluminum site. Thank God we don't need aluminum for that. All right, let's go ahead and make our copper ingot. Smelt it down. I think we need 20 screws. Let's double check that. I think it's 20 screws. Uh, yeah, we need 20 screws. So we've got 8 planks, 18 iron ingot, 8 nails, and then we need 20 screws. And I think that's it. That is it. We're going to run down, build the aluminum extractor, or the mineral extractor, to extract aluminum. 
And then we'll have enough aluminum to build electronics, to build our oil refiner, whatever the hell it is. My oil extractor that sucks Mother Nature's womb and gets the pure juices from her uvula. The next episode's gonna be... It's gonna be nice. Oh. Mr. Bear Man, bring me a dream. What you gonna do, buddy? I wanna see how close we can get to him. Before we... Yeah, that wasn't very close. And he still starts just running after us. I think he goes about the same speed we do. Yeah, come on, sir. Why'd you stop? Oh, 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 yeah, slow down, buddy. Slow down, Mr. Bear. I got some honey for you. That, those were just test swings, sir. Oh, right in your... Oh! <laughs> God, would you die already? All right. Looks like our copper is finished. All right, crap. That gave us 10. I know we've already got some somewhere. Maybe not. So let's just throw those in there. Craft us some more. There we go. Sexy. Now all we gotta do is wheel this cart. Do we got our oil? Yes, we have our oil. All we gotta do is wheel this cart down to that area, build the extractor, and we're good to go. All right, right around this rock is the area. And I've already, I set up an extractor playing offline. There she is. Now let's get this bad boy built. I hope it'll all fit. And yes, indeed, it does. All right, let's do this. Crap! Oh! <laughs> okay, let's add five oil to this some bitch. That filled it all the way up. Let's power it on. Oh, damn. Every five minutes. Thought I heard a Zambi. Van Bam Stambi Vampirialite. So every five minutes, we're gonna get aluminum. So, yippee. Tell you what we could do. We could go home and go to sleep. That would be dope. Maybe sleeping does have a good... Wait a minute. I got an idea. What if... Just what if... It's possible to place a bed. Oh, we got to put up a foundation. Hang on. I think I've got a little hack for us. If I can just get up on this rock to where we're safe. Or any rock for that matter. Okay, so we have to build this on a foundation. So let's see if we can build a foundation up here. This would be big brain shit right here. Oh my god, we can. Ah, oh, we need planks. Fart ass. Well, you know what? Let's build uh <laughs> what do we need to build one of those plank things? All we need is a log or some shit. A saw bench, four logs. <laughs> Let's do this. Alright, got us a saw bench. <laughs> I right, just gotta sit here and sauce up some boards. How many do we need? Alright, we need six planks. So this should do the trick. Six planks. Three or five, six. Houston, we have a problem. No, wait. Ah, <laughs> okay, got that done. What if we can build like something a little bit more simple other than a bed? It's got to be something we can sleep on. Ah, oh, it's just six planks. So that's three logs. All right. Bam. <laughs> there we go. It's five minutes every two seconds. Right, let's wake up at six before the sun goes down. Holy hell. This thing's probably out of oil now. But this box is probably full. I hate this game. You have to be shitting me, dude. It doesn't go by in-game time. Devs, please fix that. Ten seconds till we get a piece of aluminum. That is so stupid. Th I think that's the next change they need to make. Legit. One aluminum, and I think we need 20. 20 times five in-game time without sleeping. That's a ripoff. I thought the box was going to be full. I got all excited. So we literally got to wait in-game for one hour. Guess I'm going back home. Or what's the point? I wonder if we die. We spawn up here. So I'm definitely not waiting another hour to uh, get these materials. But that about wraps it up for the video. In the next episode we're going to have aluminum. We're going to be able to build the uh, oil extractor. And then that is going to enable us to build like four of these down here in these valleys. We'll have so much aluminum 
so many materials to build probably the craziest base ever conceived in a video game. And that's what I plan to do. I want to get the ball rolling to the point where we can do something crazy with this game. So you're not going to want to miss future episodes. But I love you guys. Be sure if you subscribe to flick that stupid bell. It's more important than anything. I don't care if you like the video. Do it at your own discretion. If you want to support the channel, check me out on Patreon. We have a band gameplay series. Best series I've ever done. Completely unfiltered for the $10 tiers and up. I have the best merch of anyone on YouTube. You calling me out? Why don't you go look at it yourself? I'm trying to get to 30,000 followers on Instagram. I do have a TikTok now where you can message me in a live stream every Saturday around 12 o'clock EST. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. I can't lean back as far. Shit! I keep dying first. I see evil, I evil, and I converse. Not today, say. This how God works. Play my position with his giving with no concerns. Go, 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 go. Set it off. Top of the morning, I'm gonna set it off. You living boring, I'm gonna set it off. Shooting them scoring, I'm gonna set it off. Like soldiers torn, I'm gonna set it off.